Well, hello there. Anyways, this is my game review for the game Resident Evil Revelations. In, th in this case, on the PS3, but it's also available on the Wii U and Xbox 360. Anyways, um, starting off, uh, the game was pretty fun. Uh, it started with some pretty uh, some stuff I didn't like. Uh, there's no like actual well, I couldn't find one, but a run button like you couldn't you know it isn't a move and hold this button down to run. You kind of just move the same speed the whole entire time, which sucked. Um, a bit of a slower paced game, which is a little annoying. Uh, well, that's all the the only, that's all the real downsides to it. Um, I like how they did the, um, they tried to make a combination between the Resident Evil 6 games kind of thing, where it's a fast pace and guns, 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 and killing and shit, combined with the old school Resident Evil, which is more slower puzzle, puzzle solving, so combining those together, it's like, you get your fun stuffs, I think that was really, really nice, um, the gameplay itself played really, uh, pretty well. Uh, there weren't many, or uh, there weren't any bugs or glitches or anything that, you know, really pissed me off. Um, I like how they did, uh, they had essentially three storylines. There's a main storyline with Chris and her side, er, er, with Jill and her sidekick, Parker. Then there was a sub-storyline with Chris and his partner, Jessica. And a sub-sub storyline with, uh, these two other guys, Quint and I don't remember the other guy's name. And it's... It kind of jumped back and forth between uh, storylines, so it was kind of tough to pin down, you know, or remember what's going on and try to piece it all together until you get to the end, where it shows the big shebang and you remember everything. It's like, oh, this happened because of this and da 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 da. So, yeah, they did that, which was really cool. Um, I think the, the what I really like about it is it's actually like they tried to make a creepy game. Like, right off the bat, you're, you know, you go in with no guns and ar ar ammo and shit, and there's fucking shit popping out every now and then, and you're scared to die like you used to be back in the day when you played these games, which is really nice. Uh, the further you get in the game, the less that appears, because, I mean, you're stocking up on ammo and guns the whole time, so, you know, it's not like, oh, I don't have enough bullets and shit to kill them. It's like, I have guns out to fucking wazoo, I can do as I please. But the beginning is very suspenseful and very scary. I actually jumped twice. It scared the crap out of me. One of which was just something fell out of no or popped out of nowhere and scared the shit out of me. The other time it came out of a vent. Another thing that's really cool is they added a um the storyline itself has a big twist at the end. I mean the twist is obvious once you pretty much get halfway through the game, the twist becomes really, really obvious. But still, having that little twist in there was pretty cool. Um, overall, I'd give the game a uh, a four out of five or an eight out of ten, I suppose, just because um, you know, again, the lack of running was a bit of a, was a little annoying. Uh, I found that you s the shooting was way too slow. Cause I mean, you sit and you're like, boom, boom, boom. When you play any other first-person game, like a Call of Duty, or whatever, it's like even if you have a pistol, it's like boom, 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 like you can empty a clip in like two seconds. So that pissed me off a bit. That and um, it's not that it was too easy, but it was a little too simple. It, it would have been nice to have more puzzles, more complicated -y stuff. But other than that, really, really enjoyable game. I would definitely recommend it to people who are fans of the series. And if you're not a fan of the series, then uh. Rent it. Don't buy it. But if you're a fan of the series, you should enjoy it. Uh, what else? Um, uh, I find uh, the uh, there's very little weaponry. Like, there's only... Well, I only found a total of... I think it was nine guns? Anywhere from nine to twelve. Uh, there was a, I found a sniper rifle, two handguns, the Desert Eagle, two machine guns, a shotgun, and a rocket launcher. And then there's a big whole entire page of sh like fucking weaponry shit. Like there's a total of what I would assume to be like 18 guns in the game or 20 guns. It's like no, I couldn't nearly find that many. Uh, uh yeah, that's all I. 
And one thing that really threw me off is in the game, it take the game takes place on a boat, like a big cruiser boat Titanic thing in the middle of the ocean. And one thing that threw me off is once you go through the game, you'll learn that there's a total of three boats, two of which that are right off the bat that you pretty much figure out. The third one is you don't figure out till you, the end of the game. But there's you know essentially two main boats. And uh, one of the at uh, one point you, the, you know Chris's team is sent to go find you know Jill and shit, and they go to like they go to this boat and they go through uh, where you last were as Jill because you go from you finish your thing as Jill and go to the next episode where you play as Chris. You go to where Jill was when you finished it, and she's not there. So it's like what what's going on? Who's dead? What time is it? To, you know you try to figure out what the what the what the uh, twist is or what's going on and it turns out it's just another boat um there was a lot of uh, new creatures which was really cool there was um they all based off one giant like one thing in general but they're uh you know a bunch of new stuff like a, it's hard to describe because they're not zombies or anything um they're kind of, I suppose they're kind of like the Lost Plagas thing from Resident Evil 4, other than the fact that, uh... So basically, take the Lost Plagas things combined with the Verdugo, the one boss from Res 4, and that's pretty much what you're looking at. Big slimy thing with the shit that comes out of its face and stuff. Yeah, just lots of new enemies, and they brought back a lot of old things that were really cool. Like, they brought back the Hunters, which was awesome. And one thing I noticed that made me really, really happy because, you know, I'm an old school res guy. I love all the Resident Evil games is if you play through the other old Resident Evil games, if you were at a certain health point, the hunters can jump and cut off your head. And at one point, a hunter had jumped and cut off my head, which hadn't been a quality in the game since like Resident Evil 3. So it was really, really cool to see that. Um, they did Capcom did a fantastic job on this game. And the best, I think the best part is this game is pretty much just filler. They released this game between Resident Evil 6 and Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 7 is confirmed, I believe. Yeah, they released it just to tide over Resident Evil fans. Be like, you know, shut up, we're in the middle of stuff here, have this and go away. I understand it used to be on the 3DS and now it's on a major console. But still, this is the filler to go between Resident Evil 6 and Resident Evil 7. So I'm I'm excited for that, and this game is this game is really good if you're a fan of Resident Evil. It'll be hard to get into if you're not a fan otherwise. Um, that's really it. I really really enjoyed the game. I don't know I had a great time playing it. The beginning started off really slow, which bugged me. But as soon as you get into the actual game game, like uh, there's the, like the prologue mission, and then there's a sub prologue almost like there's a prologue which is uh you, you know it's kind of you know you're already in the ship and you're doing stuff and whatever and you know that's fine then there's the next mission which is mission one where you're on a beach trying to figure shit out then there's mission two where you get sent to the boat so yeah there's kind of this sub prologue stuff going on it's a little bit of a bitch to understand you'd have to play through it in order to fully get it but yeah um yeah, that's really about it. Uh, here, I'll go get the case so you guys can see it. <sighs> so yeah, here we go. There's, you know, Resident Evil Revelations here. Here's the disc, you know, Resident Evil Revelations. Uh, this thing, we got the back of it, rated M and all that good stuff. I don't know how well you can see it, but right there, that's the enemy things you face. Just this, these big slimy fucks that are just, oh, they're so weird. It's, uh, yeah, it's, a uh, I, 8 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10, and it's just, I find, found it to be a really, really good game, or, or just a really fun game to play, even though they, Capcom used it as filler between now and when Res, or Res 6 and Res 5, filler or not, it's, it's still a fantastic game, uh, I, uh, I had mentioned on Facebook if you were following or not, 
I had mentioned on Facebook that I'm going to be going through every single one of the games I have and making sure that I've beaten them. Some games I won't be playing. I believe I'll list off the games I'm not going to be playing on, uh, you know, through this thing. It's uh, Batman Arkham... Batman Arkham Asylum, The Darkness 2, uh, I don't think I'm going to play through The Devil May Cry because I've beaten all of them on the PS2, so I'm not going to go through those. Fallout 3 I'm not going to do. Uh, I'm not going to bother playing through Guitar Hero because everyone knows Guitar Hero is. I'm not playing through Lord of the Rings. I'm not playing through Injustice. I'm not... Uh, I'm not playing through any of my Midnight Club games because I've beaten, uh, I beat the one for PS3. I'm not going to play the one for, um, PS3, I don't think. Uh, it'll depend. I'll probably put out a video saying whether I will or won't in the future. I'm not going to play through Mortal Kombat, uh, versus DC because I've beaten it. Uh, not playing, I might play through the Ratchet, uh, series because I got the HD collection, which has all three, so I might play through those, even though I've beaten them all already. I'm not playing through any of the Resident Evil games anymore because I, er, not playing through Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, because I've beaten all of those. Um, I'm not playing through Saints. I'm not playing through Rock Band, for the obvious reason. I am not. Pl I might play through Silent Hill Downpour. I haven't figured that out. Uh, I'm not playing SmackDown. Uh, I have to give Splatterhouse back, so I'm not playing that. I'm not playing through Toy Story 3. Uh... And I'm not playing through uh, Turok 2 for the N64. But other than that, I'm going to be playing through every game I own. Except for handheld consoles. Not playing through my handhelds. Because that's just stupid. I'm also not... I'm going to be playing through The Condemned 2. And I fucking love that game. I've beaten it already, but I love playing it. And I'm going to play through it again, hopefully. I just need to get my Xbox back. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, look for, uh, le, within the next f few months, I should have a new song up, hopefully some form of music video. It won't be an actual, you know, professionally done music video. It'll just be a, the straight up song, hopefully, with either lyrics or with just random pictures of death metal-y stuff. And I'll definitely have more game reviews out because I'm doing, the, you know, playing through all my games. Um... Probably be posting random other videos about other rants and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's that's all I really got for now. I know I've said that a bunch of times. I will be playing through Silent Hill 2 because I haven't beat it before. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it. I One thing I will say before I shut this off, because I'm playing through uh, James Bond Goldeneye on the N64, I'll be playing through with one of my best friends, Colin Wack. And we'll be making a little video, you know, putting in some audio that we've captured of stupid stuff we say. We're probably going to spend a whole weekend just playing that. So, look forward to the funny audio and stupid comments. Um, I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited to play... Uh, oh, fuck, what was it? I'm just really excited to play all my games. I, I just really like my video games, as stupid as that sounds. And yeah, music. Uh, this thing's coming up. Hopefully, music soon. I should be getting. Pay I get paid this Friday, so I'll be able to put uh, continue to put money away for the studio. And this, uh, I'm a little a little depressed because uh, my goal was to be in the studio by June, or not by June, by July. And I would have had to save $500 for $50 an hour. And I can't do that now because I, I, I just was, uh, haven't been be, uh, working very much. Like I've been working enough to pay the rent, but not much otherwise. I've had a lot of expenses. So I haven't been able to save for the studio, which is kind of sad. Um, I will be getting into the studio. Nevertheless, that will definitely, definitely happen. Um, uh, we've brought two other guys into the band. So that's nice. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna make them chip in at all. That's no. Uh, that's for me. And, that's me and Trevor only. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, go to the studio, record the song, put it on. I'm at once. Once I get the song fully recorded and mastered and perfect, I will be selling it. The t-shirt contest is over, and t-shirts are will be on sale for fifteen dollars. You can buy them for fifteen dollars from me. Just message me on YouTube. I mean on Facebook. 
Uh, yeah, I'm. This is turning into a really long video, and I don't like it. So I'm gonna sit here and say, um, you know, music soon. Those are the video games I'm not doing. Uh, just you know, be, you know, yeah. Just have a good day, YouTube peoples. Uh, yeah. Goodbye.